Hello YouTube, this is the Quarry Boy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply Windows Vista themes. As you can see, my computer looks pretty cool. Uh, just open my documents to show you, it's kind of all nice and the envy of my friends because I've made it look good. So today I'm going to be showing you how to um, make it cool and how to apply whatever theme you want basically. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is go on start. Your start button probably doesn't look like this but just I'm sure you have a start button. This is a tutorial for Windows Vista and then go to control panel, system and maintenance, backup and restore center and then when you're here you're going to need to click on this call and it says create a restore point. Just go to continue and then select your local C drive and click create. Now this basically is one of the most, it's probably the most important part of the whole uh, theme applying thing. You're going to need to, basically if you mess, because you're messing with the Windows files, there's a bit of a chance that you could screw up your computer whilst applying your theme and then you'd be really, really screwed. So basically, um, I've m I managed to screw up my computer twice before getting it to work. So. You need to create a restore point, I'll tell you more when it's loading, but basically I'm just going to call it Before I Made Changes to the For Windows Vista Tutorial. So now I've given it a name, I'm just going to go click create. So now it's creating my restore point. So basically, if you um, manage to screw up your computer to the degree where you're begging you're begging it to be how it used to be. You simply go to the screen and find the restore point and load it. So then you can um, then you can load your computer to how it was and everything will be back to normal. So yeah, this is very good to have and it will probably save your ass more than once as it did with me. So yeah, definitely create a restore point and if you if you don't create a restore point and you manage to back up your computer big time, I will not be held responsible at all. Okay. So make sure you do that. Just waiting for this bloody thing to load. So in a minute I will be showing you how to install Vista Glass and um, find a good theme. Oh, here we go. The restore point was successfully created. Okay. So then just click OK and OK again. You're now good to go because your computer is safe. So close this. And just open up your default web browser, whatever it is. I'm just using Google Chrome because it's my favourite. And then go to development. Uh, just Google that, and it should be this one here. I will put a link in the video description. And then at the side here, you're going to need to go down to uh, customization. Uh, where is it? Where the hell is it? Uh, Skins and Themes, and Windows Vista Utilities. So here you can see we have all the themes on this website. This is basically the mecca for Vista themes. But um, before you install a theme, you're just going to need to go to another website called Vista Glass. Vista Glass. So just open this up in another tab, unless you have IE6, in which case you're a bit of a noob. And then just go to the download section, and click download now, to install Vista Glass. Vista Glass is, doesn't use up that much memory, and it's completely safe. So just install it somewhere on your computer, and then when it's installed, you can run it. I'm just going to run it here, just to show you what it's like. Come on, we've got limited time now. Is anything? Come on. Sorry about the delay. So then you should get a screen like this, but without these green ticks here. Now just click on like the computer one, and it'll say patch files here. I've already done it, so it says unpatch. So do that. And then if you go to this one, it'll say uh, like uh, patch it or whatever. Just do that. And then you'll probably need to restart your computer, and then that's basically ev everything that Vista Glass does for you. So then you can close that. Sorry about that, but it's quite. You need to patch your computer before you install themes, or it does kind of go a bit screwy. So then you can close this and get back to the themes bit. 
So basically, what you're going to do now is just pick a f any theme. Uh, some are better than others. Um, play around with them because some of them I'm sure you'll hate and some of them you'll like. Uh, don't think. It's a rubbish one because it's just a login screen. Uh, oh, this looks cool. This looks cool. This looks cool. So, just check down here. It's got lots of good kind of uh, things. So, yeah, that's a good one to get. So then you'll go up here and there's a little picture of a monitor and the button that says download next to it. Click that. And then go to... Uh, comp if you actually don't go to computer, go to body load. Just go to your user and then go to um, desktop and then just save it there because it's just temporarily this. Temporary. It's just loading quickly. Come on. Bloom and load. So in a minute we're going to do the final bit. Okay, so it's now saved to my desktop, as you can see here. So I'm just going to select it and then right click and go up to extract here. This is extracting the files I'll need for my theme. That's great, it's nice and simple, just one file. Next thing I'm going to need to do is start, computer, local C drive, and then Windows and down, scroll down to resources and themes. This is the final bit. As you can see I've got quite a few themes here because I've been playing around a bit but you should only have two when you first start. So then the next thing you're going to need to do is just drag the theme into the theme solder. Click continue and continue. And that's moved it there. That's great. So here we have our theme in the theme solder. Double click here and I'm just guessing oh, alright, it's got several different versions of it. So just some of the, you have to play around. It's people, the artists have saved them as several different ones. Sometimes there's just one type of it, and other times there's another one. So I'm just going to go to the normal one. And um, yeah, so when you go into the theme folder, don't play around with the shell and stuff. Just find one of the types of the themes, and it, there'll be a file that will look like this. That's good. So double click on that, and then it will take you to this screen here where you can apply it. So I'm just looking. For the theme. I think that might have been it. I'm just going to check that it's nothing particularly obvious that I haven't. Sometimes the themes show up on here like my uh, kind of jungle theme thing. But other times they just look like arrow. So I'm just assuming it's this arrow style thing. So I'm going to go apply. Oh, this is. Oh, goodness. Might need to log off and log on again for this to work properly, but it's kind of got my jungle theme stuck behind it because it's, I don't know, it's kind of a bad theme. But play around, find one that's good, because like my jungle one is very good and some of them are very good, but there's also lots of other ones you can play around with. Like I'll just show you this other one because it's probably a better example. Actually, I'll show you this one because it's probably a better example. So as you can see, my theme is good. This one's quite a cool one. Everything's kind of cool, and everything looks different. And this will probably amaze your friends, and they will probably think you're pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial on Windows Vista themes. I uh, hope you have a go at it yourself. Remember to make the restore point, otherwise, if you screw with it and it goes wrong, you will not be able to save your computer, and you'll probably be crying for quite a while. So make sure you definitely do that. If, I've, uh, if you can't remember a bit, just wind back on the vid and watch it again. So thanks very much. The Cory Boy out.